and their excellencies have held bilateral talks whose outcome they will share shortly through a press briefing. Uh, but first, of course, after the bilateral talks, they will be signing, uh, or their respective ministers will be signing a memoranda of understanding, five of them that have been agreed upon by the two countries to pave the way for enhanced bilateral cooperation between Kenya and the Republic of Iran. The excellencies will now witness the signing of these MOUs and will begin with the first one, which is a memorandum of understanding between the Ministry of Agriculture and Livestock Development of the Republic of Kenya and the Ministry of Agriculture, Jihad, of the Islamic Republic of Iran on cooperation in the field of animal health and livestock production. The aim of this MOU is to provide for mutual cooperation to control, prevent, and eradicate animal diseases, promote surveillance, and facilitate trade in commodities between the two countries. Okay, and the MOU will now be signed by the Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Foreign Affairs on behalf of the Government of Kenya and the Minister of Foreign Affairs on behalf of the Islamic Republic of Iran. در این بخش به اولین تفاهم نامه به از جانب وزارت امور خارجه جمهوری کنیا و وزارت امور خارجه جمهوری اسلامی ایران به امضا خواهد رسید. Thank you. Thank you very much. The second memorandum of understanding between the Ministry of Information and Communication and Digital Economy of the Republic of Kenya and the Ministry of Information and Communication Technology of the Islamic Republic of Iran on cooperation in the field of information and communication technology. دومی تفاهم‌نامه همکاری میان وزارت اطلاعات، ارتباطات و اقتصاد دیجیتال جمهوری کنیا و وزارت اطلاعات و فناوری ارتباطات جمهوری اسلامی ایران در خصوص همکاری در زمینه اطلاعات و فناوری ارتباطات. The aim of the MOU is to establish a framework for consultation and cooperation on the basis of equality of mutual benefit to facilitate, strengthen, expand, develop and diversify information and communication technology. هدف از این تفاهم نامه ایجاد چارچوبی جهت رایزنی و همکاری بر اساس منافع مشترک و برابر طرفین جهت تسهیل، تقویت، افزایش، توسعه و متنوع سازی همکاری های اطلاعاتی و فناوری اطلاعات میان دو طرف می باشد. Thank you very much. The MOUs of course have been signed by the respective foreign ministers of both countries and witnessed by their excellencies. بسیار سپاس Your Excellency Dr. Ibrahim Raisi, President of Iran, Honorable Members of your delegation, distinguished guests, ministers present, good morning. I take this opportunity once again to express on behalf of the people, the government of the Republic of Kenya, our gratitude to His Excellency President Ibrahim Raisi and his delegation for honoring us with a visit, his first ever to Africa and the first stop on his tour to our continent. It is a special privilege to host President Raisi in Nairobi and his presence is testimony to the strong ties between Kenya and Iran. It is also a demonstration of our shared commitment to cooperate for the benefit of the people of our two countries. I am delighted to report that President Raisi and I have just concluded highly productive bilateral discussions on a broad range of very important issues. During our meeting, I affirmed to His Excellency President Raisi the important place of Iran 
as a critical strategic partner for Kenya and the value that we place on the friendly and fraternal relations between our two countries. On our historical engagement and areas of cooperation in development that include education, scholarship, infrastructure, health, water, fisheries, agriculture, and housing, urban and metropolitan development, among other areas, I expressed our gratitude and commitment to expand and deepen these relations. President Raisi and I had the opportunity to engage views and share ideas about emerging opportunities to improve the balance of trade between our two countries. Kenya and Iran are strategically situated to be each other's key points of entry into our respective regions. And we have affirmed our joint commitment to capitalize on this unique advantage. I express to His Excellency the President our appreciation of our bilateral cooperation in the promotion of trade, particularly in the export of Kenyan products to Iran. Most specifically, I sought the President's commitment in facilitating the export of more tea, meat, and other agricultural products to Iran, and through Iran to the Central Asian countries. We have 12 countries in the Central Asian region with a population of almost 300 uh, people, and Kenya believes that's a strategic market for our agricultural exports. Stronger collaboration with Iran is important for us in delivering agricultural value chain of our bottom-up economic transformation agenda. It is also encouraging to note that trade volumes between our two countries have been on a steady upward trajectory. Kenya exported tea worth 28.4 million US dollars, about uh, 4 billion shillings, to Tehran in the first quarter of this year, which is an eight-fold increase from sales for the same period last year. We have increased eight times our export of tea in the, in the first quarter of this year to Iran. Kenya attaches great significance to the Iranian market since it is one of the most valued export destinations for our tea. Kenya is also highly encouraged by the great interest shown by Iran in promoting technological and entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial innovation among Kenyan youth by promoting incubation of Kenya's startups and creative industry through the Iran House Innovation and Technology Center. This is an outstanding intervention that is innovative and directly aligned with our national aspiration towards creating a digital superhighway and a robust digital economy as primary pillars of the bottom-up economic transformation agenda. As a global innovation powerhouse, <clears throat> Iran has made significant progress in the development and deployment of modern technologies in key industries such as agriculture, manufacturing, and telecommunication. I have therefore invited wider and deeper collaboration in these and other critical sectors in the interest of our shared socioeconomic development objectives. Similarly, His Excellency the President and I noted that Iran is already an important partner in Kenya's health services, <coughs> uh, services sector and maintains two health centers in Nairobi to actualize the universal health objective of our administration, which is a critical pillar of our agenda. We continue to invite and learn from the expertise of countries like Iran, which has achieved a great degree of advancement in medicine and modern medical technology. I have also expressed our commitment to His Excellency that in this year's budget, we have eliminated taxes on the manufacture of medical equipment and pharmaceutical products, and Iran should take advantage of that opportunity and set up industry in Kenya. 
The blue economy is one critical area where we can demonstrate the merits of our plan to align the undeniable opportunities in the blue economy. We must invest capital and technology where it creates more jobs at the bottom of the economic pyramid. In the spirit to further enhance our bilateral relations, Iran has agreed to boost our exports and exploits and pursuits in the blue economy through research and technology. Iran is a maritime nation with strong fishing industry. On its part, Kenya has established as, as, as Kenya's President William Lotto and Ilani's President Ibrahim Laisi have signed a number of trade agreements during a visit by Ilan to East African country on Wednesday. The two leaders pledged to strengthen bilateral ties, with Laisi describing his visit to Kenya as a turning point in the development of relations between the two countries. The five memoranda of understanding signed on Wednesday focus on cooperation in information, communication and technology, fisheries, animal health and livestock products, and investment promotion, Ruto retold reporters. Ilan also plans to set up a motor vehicle assembly plant in Mombasa County, according to Rutor. The visit is the start of a three-day tour of Africa by Laisi. From Kenya, he will head to Uganda later on Wednesday before finishing his trip in Zimbabwe on Thursday. Prior to, uh, to the trip, Iranian Foreign Ministry spokesperson Nasa Kanani expressed optimism that the three-day trip to Africa could help bolster economic and trade ties with African countries. Iran is currently seeking to shore up democratic support in an effort to ease its international isolation. Kanani said on Monday that Tehran and the African country continent share common political views without elaborating further. The trip is the first by an Iranian leader to the continent in 11 years. The last leader to visit was Mohammad Ahmadinejad in 2013. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.